Alright, today we, uh, I got my MOSFETs, finally. Ta-da! Didn't have to make them. <laughs> like somebody I know. Uh, and I thought today would be a good day to break out the old solder pot and show you how through-hole um, soldering <laughs> done for NASA or anything space related uh, when life depends on it this is the way you should do it you take your component okay first thing I want to do is clean it so I'm gonna use a little bit of just isopropyl alcohol nothing fancy oops So purple, clean that up. And I'm just going to clean the leads. Put some out keyhole. And I do have my vapor fan running. So now that I've got this, normally you'd use a liquid flux to uh, pre flux. I don't happen to have any, so we're going to use a paste flux, which is just fine. So what I've done is fluxed that, and then this, let me zoom in here, I'll show you this little magic thing here. This is a neat little thing that we use on a much larger scale, but right there. I'm going to over here and do it. Okay. All right. What this is... It's an actual pot that has molten solder in it. And this basically cleans it. And now what I'm going to do is what we call tin these leads. So right now they're just factory oxidized from manufacturing. And, ta -da. and that's it. Now they've got a thin layer of solder on them all the way around. So whenever I uh, put this in the uh, circuit board It's got a perfect connection all the way around the lead uh, Yeah, you can tin them with a soldering iron a soldering pencil and just um, You could do like a, a, a tinning that direction with this This really makes a pro job here And that's how we do it Class 3 